So I got this pack of four cleaning bottles from Amazon the other day. They're all, um, they're 16 ounces and they come with the little sprayer, a cap for the bottle, and these are the bottles. So I'm gonna wash these up and we're gonna get started. I am making a flea spray for my dog and this can also be used on like her blankets and her toys and her bed because it's all natural and it won't harm anything. The ingredients are one part water, one part apple cider vinegar. And swirl it around. Now this has a very interesting smell right now. <laughs> it smells exactly like vinegar. So what I'm going to do to mask that smell is add a couple of essential oils. Rosemary which is known to repel fleas and ticks so is eucalyptus and I grabbed a little grapefruit oil just because this smells so 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 good and it'll also be good for her skin because of the vitamin C. Now, there is just the slightest, slightest little hint of vinegar, really nothing at all. Mostly what I smell are these two oils here. So I'm going to add a little bit more grapefruit just to see if I can get some of that scent going because rosemary and eucalyptus are very overpowering. That is my natural flea and tick spray. I just found this recipe on YouTube and I'm going to give this a try. So I'm going to try like a multi approach flea intake like repellent system. I'm going to use this spray that I made as well as this about a teaspoon to half a teaspoon in coconut's water every day. So that way we're treating it internally and externally. And in addition to that, I'm going to make this flea powder that can go on coconut and also can be sprinkled like on the carpets and things um, as a carpet fresh. Just some regular old baking soda and some essential oils. And that's all we're going to make. Lately what I've been doing is when I have like a glass bottle I try to keep it because I've been finding a lot of different uses for them around the house so I just threw it in the dishwasher put off the label and you got a little bottle for our powder which also has a little hose so it'll be easy to shake out like onto her back without making a huge mess that's really weird right I didn't I don't know I didn't expect that so that's what it looks like this is like, I don't know why I'm so surprised that this mix is like incredibly, incredibly well. And it smells so good. I really forgot that the last bottle that I bought in that little kit came with a funnel. So I'm going to wash this and use it to fill the bottle. Now we have our natural essential oil flea powder. I've never done this before so that's how I'm gonna try it. Just sprinkle it on there, leave it for a week, do it the next week. And I'm also going to wash all of her bedding, spray it down with the apple cider vinegar spray, and I'm gonna spray some of this on her. So when I first noticed that coconut was having an issue, kinda thought it was fleas but I wasn't totally sure. So the very first thing that I did was do some over the counter stuff and when that wasn't really getting the job done, I made this. This is a eucalyptus, lemon, lavender, and rosemary flea and tick oil. I used, I believe, about 30 drops or so of each essential oil and I'm pretty Pretty sure I use a sweet almond oil base. Put a little bit on her after her baths and her hair is just so, so soft. Like it's, it's amazing, I love that so much. But I cannot just keep using this throughout the week because it'll just build up, she'll get oily. And yeah, it's just a mess. But that alone did not get rid of the fleas. Now that I've added to my arsenal, I think that I have a comprehensive kind of routine that'll work really, really well for her. As you can see, I've used pretty much just apple cider vinegar and essential oils. Like that's my method of getting rid of the fleas. So there we go. That is my flea and tick repellent system. <laughs> Hope you enjoy.